Welcome back to Photoshop. So today we are going to take a look at some of the new June updates inside of Photoshop CC 2020. Now there aren't any truly, really major updates inside of the program. Actually, the biggest update that you're going to see is inside of Adobe Camera Raw. Now you're going to wonder why am I talking about Adobe Camera Raw inside Photoshop? Truthfully, I feel that Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop are almost one program, meaning I always use one with the other. If you haven't seen my latest video on Adobe Camera Raw, the new updates and new look, I will add a link below so you can go ahead and take a look at that video. Really, if you want to look at an update video, that's really the key one in this little series of updates between Lightroom, Photoshop, and Adobe Camera Raw. It has a totally new look to it. It has a totally new look to it and actually has the most updates of any of the three programs. So let's take a look and find out what's new inside of the program. One of the main things that you're going to find new inside of Photoshop is just the accuracy and speed improvements in a lot of their newer functions, such as content aware and selections. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some type. So right here, I've created a type layer, even though there's no type on it, doesn't matter. A lot of times if you were to import an image and it comes pre-designed and it has an Adobe type font in it. What you will notice if you don't have that font in your system, it's going to tell you that that font is missing. Now, if you're using Adobe fonts, it will automatically update that font in the background for you. Now, this isn't going to work for Google fonts or any other custom fonts that you've uploaded. This is just for Adobe fonts. Now they've also improved match fonts. So I'm gonna show you how match fonts work. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off, select this background layer, and I'm gonna grab this rectangular selection tool. We're gonna to go ahead and just select this word underground in this font. So a lot of times when you're doing stuff, you find a really cool font or something in an image, and you wanna to try to font that looks like this. So what you'll do is make a selection. You're gonna come up here to type, and you're going to go down to match font and what the program is going to do. It's going to go ahead and analyze that search and then give you a list of some fonts that it thinks best matches the font inside of your image. I'm just going to hit cancel because we're not going to go ahead and use this. And then we're going to go ahead and hit deselect. The next new aspect is pattern rotation. We have a couple ways in which this works. This is going to work with frames, shapes, and layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this in layers, and really it's kind of the same process in frames and shapes. So what we'll do is we'll just come up here to layer, and we're gonna come down here to new fill layer, but we are going to select pattern. And it's gonna give us this information on pattern fill. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then it's gonna bring up this new dialog box here, and this is where you can pick your different pattern that you'd want. Let's say we want to use this. We'll go ahead and pick that. And then right up here, you're going to see this new angle. And now I can rotate this angle and it's going to allow me to rotate the pattern. So you can see it's just moved and rotated that pattern. So that is pattern rotation. All right, we will switch over to this image that I just used here the other day. In the last update, Adobe added this object selection tool. And this is an absolute fantastic new addition to Photoshop. What we're gonna just do is I've got edge, enhance edge and object subtract selected. Now object subtract is areas inside of a selection that you might not want added to it. It's gonna look for them and if it finds an area it thinks it should subtract from, it's gonna go ahead and do that. Sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it doesn't. But what they've really improved is object selection. So I'm just gonna come in here and say, select subject. And this is happening really fast. So Adobe has selected the subject. You can see it missed this area right up here. Hold my shift key and add to the selections here, here, and here. 
And it's done a pretty good job. She's got some really frizzy hair, and this is going to really show how accurate this selected mask has gotten. So we're going to click on this, and what you can see is it's automatically done this refined edge to her hair. I haven't clicked on it. I haven't painted over it. It's just gone through, and it's trying to select out those fine hairs. Her hair can be really, really difficult to select out. Let's see, we've got a couple areas over here that it's selected that shouldn't be in there. And those are gonna be pretty easy for us to paint out. So we can come over here, and we can just paint over those areas or anything that we don't want selected. And then what we're gonna do is just gonna hit okay. I'm gonna output this as a layer mask. And you can see now we have selected outer hair. And if we zoom in here, we can see it's done a pretty good job of trying to select out some of those little tiny frizzy hairs. It's difficult to select hairs when they're out of focus. The more in focus your hair is, the better job Photoshop is gonna do in selecting this hair out. How we can really see how good of a job this really did is to actually put a layer below it. So we'll just create a new layer and drag it below. I'm gonna hit Shift Delete, and I actually wanna fill this with 50% gray. And the reason is just because it's gonna give us a good idea of how well it's selected that hair out. So you can see it has a little bit of kind of soft, the color isn't exactly the same here as it is here because it's doing some opacity there. But you can see it's got a little bit of halo around it, but this is a really, really, really good selection without me really having to do anything. Can I come in here and approve this? Absolutely but this has done a pretty good job of selecting out this hair and then replacing it. The real trick when you select out here is putting a dark background. That's when you start seeing this halo or these odd colors back behind it. Well, that's basically it. Those are the updates inside the June edition of Photoshop 2020. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.